Well, that way, Niami Chi Sin Ota Yi Ei, and I'm very proud to be here. And all my relations, I thank you very much for inviting me here and having this opportunity to speak. I'd like to recognize that we are here on the traditional territory, uh, Treaty One territory of the uh, Ojibwe Ishinabe people, as well as the uh, me meeting place of the Cree, Dakotas, OG Cree peoples, and as well as the homeland of the Métis Nation. And I'd like to say it is also the home of all Canadians. Uh, that live here as well. We have to, we're in this together. I'd like to acknowledge uh, my colleagues here, Marianne Mahijak. Actually, I'd like Marianne to come beside me, and I love Dan to come beside me as well. Dan Vandell from St. Boniface, Marianne Mahijak from Kildonan. St. Paul. And St. Paul, yes, we can never forget St. <laughs> Paul. Um, and uh, so we're here on behalf of uh, the Honorable uh, Jeanette Pettipa Taylor, the Minister of Health, uh, and the Honorable Jane Philpot, Minister of Indigenous Services. And we're all honored to be here in their place. I'd like to thank uh, the Elder Harry Bone for the wonderful prayer. Um, it certainly was able to ground me just before I was able to come up here because I often do get a little bit nervous before I speak. And I'd like to thank the uh, Carlson Robinson for the wonderful drum song that you did beforehand. Thank you. I'm so pleased to be joined uh, by uh, Kathy Merrick, Chief of Cross Lake and Chairperson of the First Nations Health and Social Secretariat of Manitoba, also known by the spirit name of Nanan Dawigamig, which means healing place. I would like to thank uh, Catherine Whitecloud, our Master of Ceremonies for today's uh, event, as well as the Director of Engagement <coughs> and Collaboration for the First Nations Health and Social Secretariat of Manitoba. So tapway. I'd also like to acknowledge the Grand Chiefs in attendance, uh, Chief, uh, Grand Chief Arlen Dumas, Assembly of Manitoba Chiefs, Grand Chief uh, Jerry Daniels over here, uh, Southern Chiefs organization as well as Grand Chief Sheila North Wilson uh, from MKO and uh, I've already forgotten two other chiefs, I apologize. <laughs> Harry, Bone. Harry Bone and Barry, Barry, Bone. Barry Bone, sorry. That's such a terrible Harry memory. <laughs> Harry Bone, we're getting the Chiefs mixed up here. <laughs> and then... Barry Anderson is such a... And I've missed your... Nelson, Nelson Janai, excuse me, excuse me. I apologize. All those who are watching online, you know, I'll never be asked by the Minister of Health to make another announcement again. Um, now, historically, Indigenous peoples in Canada have not had the opportunity to design and deliver, deliver health care services that are structured around our unique needs. The sad result of this history of exclusion is reflected in virtually every measure that we have of comparative health status of Indigenous and non-Indigenous peoples in Canada. We see the impact of this in many areas, such as shorter life expectancy, a higher incidence of infectious diseases such as tuberculosis, and chronic diseases like diabetes. Indeed, the rate of diabetes in First Nations populations is more than four times that of the general Canadian population. We're here today to mark a departure from that exclusion. The First Nations Basic Foot Care Program is a great example of the first or the health care program that has been designed by First Nations peoples for First Nations. This program will make a difference in the day-to-day -day lives of Manitoba's First Nations peoples living with diabetes. As most of us know, people with diabetes are prone to painful foot ulcers. These, in turn, can cause infections that can require amputation. Here in Manitoba, the rate of amputations related to diabetes among First Nations has more than tripled since 1995. First Nation leaders in Manitoba have long identified foot care as a pressing need for our people. Unfortunately, until now, many First Nations communities in Manitoba did not have access to regular foot care services that can prevent ulcers from leading to amputations. Thanks to the collaborative effort over many years by the leaders who are here today who have fought long and hard, the First Nations Basic Foot Care Program here for all First Nations communities in Manitoba will now have access to improved foot care and treatment which will in turn benefit the overall health of people living with diabetes. I am proud that the federal government will be providing $19 million over four years to support this program. The Government of Canada is committed to a renewed relationship with Indigenous peoples in Canada. This includes a recognition that the best health outcomes for Indigenous peoples will be achieved through programs that are designed, delivered and led by Indigenous communities. The First Nations Basic Foot Care Program is a model of First Nations empowerment in health care that will alleviate very real pain and suffering. I am confident that it will lead to great success and I'm very proud to be here. So tap way for your support and uh, I really appreciate the opportunity for me and my colleagues. I don't know if my two colleagues have anything they would like to add. 